So UK mortgage brokers, I could really do with your help on something. So I've been working on a custom GPT, which is a custom version of ChatGPT, basically, which it, just wanting it to help mortgage brokers with the things that it could do for them in terms of automating a lot of stuff and just making your life a lot easier. So there's a few things that I've already got on here, which I'm just going to talk you through and show you. If anybody can feed me back and give me some of the things that they could really do with being taken off the plate, which are not skilled tasks, really, that could be automated easily. And I'll see if I can help you out with it and we can help each other out in that sense. But let me show you more into this GPT that I've put together and show you what it, what it can do for you. Okay, so it gives us a, a couple of options here. So the, here's the title. So it supports UK mortgage brokers, FCA compliant marketing, niche marketing and client communications, including drafting suitability letters, requesting essential documents and liaison solicitors. So one of the key things that I've done here is, if I just go into edit it, I'll show you the back end. So these are some of the conversation starters. Create a 30 day social media plan for LinkedIn. Do you have to suit a bill to report template? Suggest a profitable niche while on LinkedIn. Create email requesting, create, create an email requesting docs, create an email chosen solicitor. So it's got all of the, I've uploaded all the, uh, the MCOBs, the, the financial promotions guidelines from the FCA and everything to do with consumer duty. So it's all compliant stuff that we, it's going to, give us in terms of the results. Um, so let's choose drop the suitability report. So it's, it's drafting a template for you. So you just fill in the blanks. You just copy and paste this into a Word doc or to an email. And yeah, obviously the structure of the FCA guidelines ensuring the Information is presented clearly, fairly, without misleading the statement. So everything it spits out is going to be compliant. But it's always, if you've got, depending on your network, it might be worth still double checking it just to make sure. So if we go, start a new chat, just go back to see. A uh, couple of these, create, create an email requesting docs. So this is again, a, just a draft for, a, or a template, template, a draft, if you, you could call it, I suppose. Uh, this message finds you well, as part of a mortgage application process, we need to gather specific documents to ensure a smooth and timely review by the lender. Please find below a list of documents required. And then obviously it goes through proof of address, proof of identity, income verification, bank statements, credit commitments, property information, additional documents. So. Create a 30 day social media plan for LinkedIn. So again, this is one of the key things when it comes to compliance is the, uh, is, is for, for social media. It's making sure that that is all FCA compliant. So it's suggesting things, uh, explaining mortgage terms, welcome and intro post, introducing yourself and your firm and your services, client testimonial, suggest anonymize because in terms of FCA as well. Why remortgaging can save you money. So week two, client education and protection. So it's suggestion, suggesting focus on different things for each different week of the month. So it's doing all that. So week three, showcasing services and compliance, which benefits using a broker, post on interest rate types, industry insights. So it's giving you a load of, because I think that is one of the things that people struggle with the most in IFA is this thinking of what to post. So this just makes it, I don't have a strategy. So this, I'm giving away secrets here because I do offer that service. I do a, a done for you service where I post content. And that's basically what I use a lot of this stuff. So I'm basically giving you what the blueprints of what I do. I'm probably not doing myself any favors doing that, but see, yeah, I'm on that mindset that what you give, you get back. <laughs> so, so yeah, like I said, that's all good and you can dig in. So. So say, for example, we want go to, so you can follow it up with, please provide day two, so a concept day two.
and then it'll give you that uh, the contact for day two and uh, again I suppose there's room for it's got disclaimers and FCA it's adhering to the, uh, to the guidelines the financial promotions guidelines so one of the most important things I think when it comes to marketing financial services is defining a profitable niche a high net worth niche so this is going to give us some suggestions so this prompt so say the profitable niche for LinkedIn so again I think LinkedIn is good because the profitability is there I think there's a stat that shows that I think 48% of people on LinkedIn are in over 50k a year so they're going for bigger mortgages it takes you guys the same amount of time to place a client that's worth a grand and it is it's worth five grand, so we might as well be going for those five grand clients, which are more prone to be on LinkedIn. There's a different mindset, I think, on LinkedIn. People are more prone to doing deals and things on there. It's more of a businessy dealsy mindset on that. So, so yeah, suggesting targeting UK remortgage and debt consolidation. So again, it's given us green mortgages, it's given us high net worth mortgages for luxury property buyers. So let's go with a more bet turn number six. So it's given us some more ideas. What's consideration? So yeah, so it's given us some good ideas there. Obviously, there are some more powerful, more detailed prompts that we can actually prompt it with. Like, I'll just show you in here one of the more detailed prompts that we use. So let's start a new chat with it. And obviously, that was a basic prompt that I put in there. But if we give it a bit more context, so this is a more detailed prompt. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty meaty. It's pretty long. So it's saying, I'll just read through the first part, I'm not read through it all because it's quite lengthy, but it's saying, acts like an experienced market analysis specializing in UK financial services sector. You have over 20 years of experience in identifying profitable niches for businesses with a deep understanding of the UK mortgage market. Your expertise includes demographic analysis, economic trends, and leveraging professional networks like LinkedIn for market research and targeted and marketing. Your objective is to identify a lucrative niche for a, mortgage, a UK mortgage business using LinkedIn Focus on segments that are currently underserved and exhibit strong growth potential, taking into account factors such as de age demographics, regional economic growth, industry employment rates, and changes in housing policies. The premise of this exercise is to enable to make work, make to work less and earn more through a lean, profitable, and specialist business model. I applied to use Sales Navigator, LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So this goes in, like I say, quite deep. So let's just see what the differences are in responses from ChatGPT given basic prompts and a more detailed prompt. So this is going a bit deeper into it. tech sector executives and entrepreneurs. And it's given the reasons why the so it's given the demographics first, economic trends, mortgage demand. It can be easily targeted on LinkedIn and using sales navigator. High earning professional uh, network high earning medical professionals, doctors, surgeons, dentists. Again, we just get to know the customer there as well. And so it's digging quite deep into those. Our niche industry, creative professionals, film, music, media executives. So it's given us some ideas there and it's explaining why it's given us those suggestions as well. But they're just some of the examples that he, obviously it does this, this custom GPT at the moment. It's called New Age Broker Bot. And if anybody wants to try it out for me and, and can kind of feed me back on it, then comment below and I'll send you the link through for it. And if anyone's got any questions on any of this AI stuff, then yeah, just give them a shout. Appreciate your time. Thank you.